Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you what to do if you get no supported audio device error in Adobe Audition. So here we are in Adobe Audition, and the first thing to check is go into the Edit menu and go to Preferences and check your audio hardware. You might find that there's nothing much happening here, and you can't listen to anything, you can't record anything, you can't do anything in Adobe Audition. Simply, you have no supported audio device working and, and nothing to select from here. Uh, this is pretty worrying, right? Well, the first thing to do is try and select something. If there is something there, try and select it. But if not, you might need to dive deeper into Device Manager on your PC. And you want to look for sound, video, and game controllers down here. This will be a list of all the audio devices you've got attached to your PC. So all of your audio interfaces, your sound cards, everything. And if you've got the problematic one, like your Focusrite uh, audio interface, for instance, the first thing you should do is right click, update driver, and search automatically for updated driver software on the web. This will find the latest version and hopefully it will install the latest version of your driver. You can then go back to the preferences in Adobe Audition audio hardware and try and select it from your input and outputs here. If it's still not working, you can right click, uninstall the device completely, and then that will remove it from your system. Next, you'll need to go to the Focusrite website or the website of the manufacturer of your audio interface or sound card, download all of the installation products, the firmware, the drivers, and reinstall from the start. Of course, remembering to restart your PC before you do this. And then hopefully that'll fix things and it'll all be working there. If it's still not working, you might want to flip over MME to something else like ICO or Wasapi. If you do that, you might suddenly find, and make sure you click yes to that prompt, by the way, that you get all of the stuff that you need, the Focusrite, the new audio, your Soundcraft desk. So sometimes it's a case of simply changing the device class from MME away to something else. I hope this helps you. And if you have any further questions on this, let me know in the comments down below.